Welcome to Managing Myeloma. My name is Dr. Robert Olowski and I'm the director of the myeloma section and also the acting chair of the Department of Lymphoma Myeloma at the University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center in sunny and humid Houston, Texas. One of the questions that I've been given more frequently of late is what are the major side effects associated with the use of daratumumab in combination with bortezomib and dexamethasone and what are the best ways to manage them? This question is particularly relevant because we just had earlier this month FDA approval of the combination of daratumumab with bortezomib and dexamethasone and this was based on a large phase three trial which was published earlier this year in the New England Journal of Medicine which showed that the DARA, bortezomib, and DEX combination improved the progression-free survival by more than 60 percent compared with bortezomib and dexamethasone. In terms of the different side effects of the three drug combination versus the two drug combination, we need to always focus on infusion-related reactions. With daratumumab, either alone or in any combination, about 40 to 45 percent of patients, especially with the first dose, will have an infusion reaction. This can be symptoms such as a little bit of a temperature or even a fever. Sometimes patients have chills or a little bit of a rash or itching, and they can also have problems such as a little bit of shortness of breath or even bronchospasm. Most of these are really improved by pre-medication, and the pre-medication should be a standard of care. At MD Anderson, what we do is a corticosteroid along with diphenhydramine and also an H1 and an H2 receptor blocker. And with that combination, you can usually reduce infusion-related reactions down to a relatively low level with mostly grade one or two severity. But if you do see this, what you need to do is usually stop the infusion of the drug wait until the reaction goes away and if it's a mild reaction you can restart at a slower level whereas if it is a more moderate to severe reaction you may need to add additional corticosteroid as a pre-medication. Other adverse events that you can see with the three drug combination Let's start with hematologic abnormalities. You can have more thrombocytopenia with this combination, and usually what I do for that is transfuse platelets during the first and second cycles with the thought that I'm gonna really try to support the patient and that probably the thrombocytopenia is due to bone marrow involvement with myeloma rather than due to drug therapy. However, if the thrombocytopenia is later on, cycle five or cycle six, and it's new, then you may need to think about reducing the dose of bortezomib a little bit, or maybe that of DARA, although in my practice, I don't usually reduce DARA dosing. You also can see a little bit more neutropenia with DARA and bortezomib, and you can use Neupogen, for example, and that's something that you can do in the week off because of course the bortezomib is given in week one and week two, but not in week three. So one option is to give a couple days of growth factor support during that week. Other issues that you can run into, peripheral neuropathy overall is a little bit higher with DARA bortezomib dex than it is with bortezomib and dexamethasone. Most of that neuropathy is grade one or two, and there's no real difference in grade three or four, but you may need to think about, especially if there's grade one neuropathy with pain or grade two, to reduce the dose of bortezomib, or certainly use symptomatic agents like Neurontin or Lyrica, and also topical agents can be very effective, like topical lidocaine, and tricyclic antidepressants can, in some cases, be helpful for neuropathy. Infectious complications are notable as well. Part of that may be due to the neutropenia. I don't routinely give antibacterial prophylaxis, but you should give either acyclovir or valacyclovir because of an increased risk of shingles. 
If you have a patient who has prior history of pulmonary infections, an antibacterial antibiotic may be worthwhile, or even gamma globulin. And then finally, you can have increased GI effects, including diarrhea, and the standard anti-diarrheals should be very effective. But the combination of DARA with bortezomib and DEX is one of the best in the relapsed and refractory setting. So hopefully these tips will be helpful in your management of patients. And thanks very much for viewing this activity. Thank mm -hmm. you.